Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my September favorites. It's been a while. It feels so weird to be sitting here. I feel like I completely forgot how to film videos right now. It's so strange, but I got new lighting for my backdrop lights. So if it looks a little brighter, that's why. Let me know what you think. I'm still kind of working with it, changing things up. My background is a work in progress, but today I just wanted to sit down and do my September favorites because it's one of my favorite types of videos to film. I love favorites videos. I always search on YouTube for favorites videos they just make me really happy and excited for new makeup or I just want to know what other people are loving because I want to go out and get those products or research about those products so yeah that's what we're doing today we're doing a favorites and September was a crazy month for me I mean even the start of October has been crazy it's only like the third day but I've been through a lot in September so a lot of the days I really wasn't wearing makeup so I don't have a lot of like brand new products it's kind of just products that I either rediscovered on the days that I was wearing makeup but it's been a hectic month for me I touched on it in my vlog um, I've just been going through a lot in my family so thank you for all of your prayers and your well wishes I figured I would just kind of get back into the swing of things today also please let me know if you'd like me to do a lit music playlist kind of like Spanish trap or reggaeton or just like my current favorites but just like in one video so it's literally just a video about my favorite current songs it's just little snippets like 15 seconds of each song but let me know if you'd like to see me do that i saw my friend natalie do it and i loved how it came out it's kind of like a playlist kind of thing so let me know if you'd like to see that in the comments or by liking this video the first product that i want to mention for september is the lancome genifique mask this is the second skin youth activating mask these are very expensive i mean when i saw the price i was like wait what but you do get six of them. So you get six for $106, which I know sounds outrageous, but it's actually cheaper than getting a facial and they give you real results. Usually with sheet masks for me, they're like just too temporary. Like they'll last, then you like rinse your face and or like you wake up the next day and the results are gone, but not with this one. This one's very thick, but whenever I have like a special event or something really important coming up and I really want to put my best face forward and I don't want my skin to look dry, this is a mask that I use and I treasure them. Like I really only use them when I absolutely need them, but they just make your skin super moisturized. I'm telling you, I haven't done any skincare pretty much all of September I'm talking it's been so stressful that I was just rinsing with Dove soap in the shower and just leaving like I wasn't even moisturizing and I know you're probably cringing so hard especially my dry skin girls like we know we can't do that like we need our regimen but I just had a really stressful month so I just have been out the door so when I had an event coming up I didn't do this mask and my skin was just oh, flaky and textured it looked terrible Today I did this mask, I let it kind of sink in, I didn't rinse it off, I waited and I did Dior Air Flash foundation and my skin looks way better. It's still not like the best, but it's looking better because of this bad boy. So I know it's expensive, it's actually sold out right now in Sephora for good reason, but they're amazing and if you have dry skin, textured skin, aging skin, wrinkles, you know like forehead lines, anything like that, trust me, you will love this. This mask you put on for 20 minutes and you can actually reuse it because it does have some serum in there, but I'm telling you they're life changing they actually will make a difference in your skin unlike other sheet masks so the next product is actually on the opposite side of the spectrum of price this is by NYX this is the roll-on shimmer in nude this is actually what I have on my eyelids right now it actually is a roll-on so I kind of feel like a kid when I use it like it just feels like a glitter like those roll-on chapstick glitters I don't know but you would think it's coming out wet but it actually comes out kind of dry so what I do is I just roll this onto my hand and then I take a brush and I just pat it on you can use a glitter glue if you really want it to last but it doesn't look like children's glitter like it looks sophisticated they're really pretty and I, like I said they're not chunky you barely feel them it almost feels like invisible glitter like it's just so fine and it's not wet you know the Stila glitters those crease so bad on me and I don't know why even with the glitter glue but these like if I place them they kind of just dry instantly like kind of dry matte and they just don't budge so I really like this and you get so much you honestly would never go through one of these so definitely check these out uh, NYX roll on shimmer they have like other colors but this nude one is really pretty because it's like a neutral champagne they have like a rosy pink they have a bunch of colors but this is the one that I'm wearing today nude and I just think it really just takes your look to the next level without being like club glitter it's like glam but daytime appropriate so shout out to NYX I also like their lid lingeries those are popping too and I think this was about $4.99 which is a steal so the next two favorites are by Velour 
This is their eyelash applicator that just came out. It's so pretty, it's gold. It has a lash comb on the other end. And the reason why I love this so much and why I've been enjoying it, as opposed to my Tarte one and my MAC one, is that this one's just like a tighter fit. So the actual tweezer portion here is smaller, so I feel like it's not as, I mean maybe just with time they get a little bit more expanded, but I just feel like this one's so much more precise and I just feel like I can put my lashes on so much easier with this. It's something about the slants and the precision on this this one it's not scary like getting near your eye with it it's pretty I mean it's gold I just have really been enjoying it I feel like this is something that a lot of people just kind of pass by like they just don't buy because they think it's silly but it really makes a difference on putting on your lashes super quick you just boop boop it places it on and you're pretty much done so love those and I really have been enjoying the fluff and wispies by velour these are silk lashes I have them on right now these are the ones that I really love for my dramatic days like if I have an event or if I just have something going on or I really want to just look my best or feel my best I throw these bad boys on they're pricey but they really just bring on so much drama and I think they flatter my eye shape so fluff and wispies they redid them but I still do love them and you can reuse them I do have a coupon code for velour it's Rosita I know they're really pricey so it helps but you do have to use it on the actual velour website and not on Sephora so just wanted to mention those two next up on my list is the Tatcha Gold Camellia Beauty Oil this is actually something that I've been using a lot on my clients I do use it on myself I'm almost out of this one and it makes me so upset because it's very expensive and I hate repurchasing this but you can't deny it like it just works so well it's a beauty oil that is not oily so I do this to prep my clients face especially for dry skin I go in with the pixie glow tonic to go I apply Apply this and then I start on their eyes it just sinks in and when you apply foundation it just glides on so this is the perfect oil for makeup application because it's not gonna make your face really oily but if you do have dry skin it's gonna instantly hydrate those areas and make sure that everything glides on especially like cream contour and concealer they go on so much smoother with this beauty oil so I've been loving that next up are some brushes that I wanted to mention the first one is this Luxie 211 concealer brush this is just the perfect brush that I found to conceal like minor areas, to conceal my client's brows, to like I said spot conceal, to do cream contour on the nose. So it's a regular concealer brush but it comes to a point. So it's very precise and I love that about it. Like it really carves your brows out so nicely because of that little point that you could turn it on its side and really just get like a nice straight line. There's just something about it that makes my life so much easier and I really enjoy using this. So when I do use it, I am so grateful that I did because I'm like, wow, that was so much quicker. So I love this brush. The next two brushes are kind of like, I feel like they're brother and sister, but this is the 287 and this is the 197. They're two dual fiber paddle brushes. The 287, which is this one, the smaller guy, is perfect for cream contouring the nose, for applying concealer because you can literally just like pat, pat, pat and get full coverage or get those inner corners where a lot of people miss concealer, like it's hard to get your beauty blender up in there. So this brush comes so in handy. You could even cream contour if you have like smaller features really enjoy this one for the nose and then the 197 is the only brush I pretty much use for blending cream contour and I do use the Clinique chubby stick and golden gargantuan golden for a contour cream contour because I love the shade it's warm but it just yeah it's pretty warm I was gonna say it's like not too warm but it kind of reminds me of like Mac dark but in cream version a little bit less warm than give me Sun but it just blends out so nicely because it's a foundation and with this brush the 197 you really get some nice precise blended cream contour lines I love this brush my girl Angie put me onto this and I never looked back it's bomb like you literally just shoo, 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 and you're done so fast I have three of these because it's that good like one for my kit and then for myself because it's so good and this chubby stick literally does no wrong like I always go to it because it just looks so natural on my skin tone and I love this color specifically golden it's bomb and the last brush that I wanted to mention is the Sephora Pro foundation 47 brush so it's this guy right here I don't use it for liquid foundation I haven't tried it for that maybe I should but I love this for under eye powder or just like getting underneath the contour it's just a great packing on brush so if you really want to brighten under your eye and you want precision this is perfect because it kind of goes with the natural curves of your face because it's slanted but it's flexible I really like the curve on it it's the exact softness and texture and cut that I need for underneath the cheeks for under the eye for in the center of the nose especially if you have features like big eyes but then like a smaller forehead like
like you just need the brush that's gonna fit in that area so I really like this brush it's the 47 and I use it a lot so I just wanted to mention it because I pick it up and I'm just again it's one of those brushes that I'm like thank gosh I used it because it made my life so much easier and so much quicker to put it on so I love that so for my lips for September when I was wearing makeup, I was gravitating towards regular MAC lipsticks a lot. The one I have on right now is Blankety. It's the perfect nude, honestly, for my skin tone right now. It's not as light as Myth, but it's not as dark as Faux or as Modesty. It's just like that right in between. And it has a little bit of a pinky tone to it, which I think does flatter my skin tone as opposed to too peachy. Like, I think I like this pinkiness to it because it's not too pink. So Blankety is my jam, and I love using straight down with it because strip down kind of neutralizes it just a little bit if I really want to get something pinky like if my lip is too nude and I want a little bit more color to my face I love MAC lip gloss in pink carrot so they don't sell this in store anymore you have to get it online but it's just like the perfect throw on pinky gloss it kind of reminds me of sugar sugar and pretty thing which I actually have been using a lot this month too I have it in my hand it looks like those two kind of mixed together it does have a little bit of a, a glitter like a sheen or like a some kind of of tiny tiny flecks of glitter but you can wear this on its own you can put it on top of anything they did change the formula so I will tell you if you're a fan of the old lip glasses they're a little different they smell a little different but they give you so much shine and like they just plump up your lips and I just love throwing this on over a regular lipstick it doesn't cake up it doesn't get white or goopy or crazy I just love this again this is pink carrot I like oyster girl I like the gold one I like all of MAC lippies because I feel like they come out with like the right tones but Marc Jacobs pretty thing will always forever be a favorite I already went through this whole tube of it and I'm always repurchasing it because it's so good so that I've been enjoying as well. On the topic of lips, I totally picked this up because of Melissa. Shout out to Melissa Flores. I love her so much. I bought this because of her. I watch her vlogs religiously. Like I'm always watching her daily vlogs or her vlogs in general. They're just so addicting to watch. She mentioned this Kopari Lip Love and I went on Sephora and I placed an order just for this. Like I did that. And she was completely right about it. It really moisturizes your lips. It smells a little bit like coconut. It's nice and smoothing on the lips and my lips have been feeling a lot better. The weather is totally changing here in New York so it's getting colder out. So some days I do notice that if I don't apply chapstick my lips are RIP. Like just straight flaky. But when I do apply this my lips thank me and my lip application lipsticks go on so much better. So Kopari, you did that. It's just not sticky, but it looks glossy. I like that glossy look. So just mascara with this, you look a lot more put together. So if you're looking for a good lip balm, try Kopari. I mean, coconut oil can solve all your issues, girl. And there's a meme that goes, if your boyfriend's acting up, throw some coconut oil on it. You know, like it just, coconut oil is just a savior for a lot of things. You got cracked heels, coconut oil. Your hair is dry, coconut oil. Your face, eczema, like just throw coconut oil on it and it'll be a lot better. So loving this lip balm by Kopari. This is a hair product that I've been loving recently. I didn't use it today because I got my hair done, but this is the R & Co High Guive Moisture and Shine Cream. This smells heavenly. I mean, it just smells so good, but this makes your hair look repaired. So when I'm out the shower and my hair is air drying, I apply this to my ends and they just look so much healthier and they look shinier and smoother and I don't feel like I have to put in so much heat and it just smells amazing. I love when my hair smells good. It just boosts my confidence. I just love smelling it and just like it's smelling like perfume, but it's like a perfumed product that I know makes my hair moisturized because I don't want to just put something in and then just be dry. Like most perfumed hair products make your hair really dry because of the alcohol and because of that scent but this one just really balances your hair and makes it shiny and I just love it as like a leave-in conditioner kind of thing without weighing my hair down because I have very like stringy straight hair so any product that's too thick will literally just make it like flat on my head and I don't need that so this one is a winner in my book so before we get into perfumes of the month I'm gonna talk about this Erin Amber Musk body wash it's clean, but musky, but sexy as heck. It's like a vanilla musk, but sophisticated and classy. It's not a sweet vanilla. It's a. It's just a, an amber musk. I mean, literally the name is amber musk, and it just smells like that. Like I, I feel like this would be inside of a hotel in Greece. This is what this makes me feel like, like I, or in Dubai or in Greece. Like anytime I think of luxury, I think of like, you know, Europe and Dubai. Like, I don't know why, but I just picture this in a marble bathroom and this is what it smells like. And it just smells amazing and I love it and it's sexy and I 
it literally lingers. I do have the perfume that goes along with it, but I think I enjoy the body wash more. I think the perfume is just a little bit less sexy. Usually perfumes are stronger and body washes are more subdued, but I feel like in this case, the body wash is stronger. So if you're looking for a great smelling body wash that's like thick and rich and luxurious, especially for the winter time, this one's perfect. Like for a bath, amazing. Just put some into the bath, put some on yourself, and you're gonna feel like a queen as you should. And then for my perfumes of the month, I have two, but this one I've already talked about and I'm sad to say that I'm literally at the halfway point. This is Mason Francis Carcajan Baccarat. This is the overtly expensive, like way too expensive to even handle perfume. This is the smallest bottle and it costs $250. Wait, was it $250 or $300? Might have been $300. I don't know. I blacked out when I bought it, but it's so good. Oh my gosh. It's a unisex perfume. It's sweet and sexy and musky and oh, it's almost fruity. It's just, it's a concoction. It's very unique. If you want to smell different, here it is. I urge you to go to Neiman Marcus and just, just put it on and just forget about it. But I'm going to warn you, this is the type of perfume that you will not smell on yourself. So if you like to smell a perfume on your wrist all day, this might not be it. This is the type of perfume that goes in and out. Like you'll smell it, but then hours later you don't, but then you just get a whiff of it. I've literally put this on myself my mom can smell me like two rooms away and Coco even smelled like this I sprayed myself and it got on my dog and he smelled like it days later it's that strong but for some reason you don't smell it on yourself which I'm okay with because I have really bad allergies and I'm very sensitive to scents and fragrances so I don't want to be bombarded with a perfume all day even if it's the best smelling thing in the world but get this I walked into a hookah bar and the lady the, the waitress came out of the kitchen and said what the heck are you wearing I can smell you from over there there. It's that good. I need it right now. Please put it in my phone. I'm buying it. And I'm like, what? Like, she bought it that day. It's crazy what this perfume will do to other people's senses. I just... I wear this and I'm just like, I'm gonna smell good all day. When I'm doing clients, when I'm at events, people are like mesmerized by the scent and I love it. So, Baccarat 540. I love it so much. But another perfume that I really have been enjoying in September, because I don't want to bore you guys and just mention that one, Balenciaga Flora Botanica. I recently just picked up a new bottle. This one reminds me of like fashion week. It's like a high fashion kind of smell. It smells very masculine, so if you like those kind of scents, like Tom Ford kind of scents, you'd like it. I don't know why it's really called floral because I don't get too much floral. I do get floral, but it's like a very, very masculine, musky floral, which I like. Something like this really makes me feel like throwing on my leather jacket, putting on some new boots, and just like rocking the day. Like it just brings me to those memories. It's very Soho, it's very fashion, it's just very unique and sexy. So if you like smelling like that, this is a perfect nighttime perfume. I just I love it. So this is for that strong woman or man. It's just like snatched. I just it's just different. Every time I wear it, I also get compliments on this one. So I've been loving that. Another favorite of mine, random, Ice White Mocha from Starbucks. My cousin actually just got this one for me. Thank you, Michael, if you're watching. I love that drink. That's like the fall version of a drink for me because I am not a fan. Don't kill me of pumpkin spice latte. I know, I know, don't kill me. Maybe that one time that I tried it, I didn't like it. I have to try the iced one because I'm just not a fan of hot drinks. Unless I'm like desperately in need of coffee, I'll drink a hot coffee at home. But I don't just go out and buy a hot coffee. I just don't enjoy it. Like the only time I drank hot coffee was in college. I would literally drink coffee like at midnight, just trying to stay up. But that ice white mocha can definitely get it. So I love that. And that's pretty much it for all the products for September. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the music favorites. Again, don't forget to let me know if you want me to do like a music playlist, kind of like my favorite hits for the past like three months or something. Like just like the bangers, like the songs that when they come on, I'm like, hey, and, you know, you make eye contact with your friend and you want to like lip sync on Snapchat, like those kind of songs. Let me know because I will do it. If you guys really, really want it, I'll film that next. But let's go ahead and get into the favorites for this month. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Osuna Odiesa, the album was on repeat the whole month. I'm talking the whole month. So I'm sorry, but that's just like the best album that came out for me. I've been listening to it nonstop. Mi papá Dios manda a buscarme, lo que será de mí. Yo no 
cuide la familia, en este mundo de traición. Se preparó, se puso linda, dale champagne. Se te preparó, se puso linda, su amiga llama. This is when I sing my heart on the car. Quedaron los besos y todos los planes Quiero tampoco la vida al soltero September favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite product was or your favorite song because I need new songs, guys. Like, literally, all I listen to is the Osuna album on repeat. So, I need new songs. Let me know your recommendations, Spanish, English, it does not matter. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I just want to get back into the swing of things. Thank you again for supporting me and sticking through with me. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.